With regards to Adams moving out, the circle had been talking about this. We did a five year plan a few years ago, which included Adam moving out of home as well as work, volunteering, leisure, all his different areas of his life. And that had been talked about for some time and we had had some initial discussion about this. But then the Supported Living Fund was available and we made an application at the time, which eventually was successful, fortunately. And um, ADEC, the, organ the government organisation, provided a support planner to help, a lot, help us along that path. And that was Matt. And um, Libby made the suggestion at the time to bring Matt along to the circle meetings to have consultation with everybody involved with Adam's life and planning rather than just the parents, which was a great idea at the time. And I would, I think anybody can, could do that involve your advisor or consultant or person from the government to come along and participate with the wider circle of Adam's network rather than just his immediate family. I was the support planner, um, so I worked with Ageing Disability and Home Care um, who funds the Support Living Fund and so yeah, my role is basically to assist the family to develop a transition plan for their son or daughter to move out of home. Um, and what was great about coming into this family was that immediately I could see that there was already momentum happening um, and there was lots of people involved already in that process. Um, so it actually made my life a lot easier. Um, yeah, just because of that momentum already there um, and so basically it was more a matter of um, slotting into you know the circle meetings um, and you know, consulting with this wide group of people who were already involved in Adam's life. Well a transition plan is really just a jargon term for uh, what are we doing next? <laughs> so um, so funding's received and then when I talk from Adam's experience and from his family experience, um, the funding was received and, and Karen and Ivan and we had developed an application for that funding. So in a sense, some thought had already happened, but it's different than on paper to then when you get funding and you think, okay, now I've got funding to actually make this happen, my, my son to move into his own home. So a transition plan is um, really a kind of bringing together some thinking about what are the steps to help Adam move out of home. So getting the thinking happening and then recording that thinking into a plan for, okay, in one year, we think in one year or in two years or however long, you know, the person can move out of home and these are the steps that we're going to do in order to make that happen. That's a transition plan. One of the main things was that we realised that there is quite some quite good support around Adam already. His support workers obviously, his family, some of the circle members who spent time with him. And when the moving out happens, there needs to be more of that. So we really were talking about developing a plan, a, a plan of support around Adam when people would need to be with Adam for doing various things more than it became apparent that that was more important than Adam learning specific things to be in his house. It was sort of, Adam can do these things for in his own home, but he will need some of these other things and they will be assisted with other people, mm. by other people. So it was the, the, the support that after the transition plan, one of the main things was we thought, what do we need to set up around Adam for it to be successful? In terms of developing the transition plan, um, yeah, again, we had a series of consultations. So, first of all, I met with Karen and Ivan on two occasions, I think it was, um, just really to um, go over what was in the um, application because there's lots of great ideas and lots of information in there already. So, the first step really was to um, just to go over that with them and to clarify anything in that um, document um, 
timelines, um, what their vision was for Adam's house, what it, what it would look like, um, and what their fears were around that, what they thought, um, what sort of support he would need um, to be living independently, because it's a big step. Um, and basically, I translated a lot of those questions over to different groups, starting to pose questions around what sort of a role they could play in that transition to for Adam. Um, so that all happened over, gee, was it, it was about a six to eight month, eight month mm. time frame, roughly, yeah. from memory. <laughs> so quite drawn out, um, but I think purposely so. Um, of, you know, everyone's busy, so you know we didn't want to rush things, um, but also to give people time to to really consider the questions we were asking. The transition plan it didn't end up just being a representation of what people said in a consultation. What we actually did together was analyse that data, analyse that information. Yeah, yeah and present back to the group a proposal really of this is what you've all said and we think that given what you've said you could you could help Adam move out of home by doing x y and z you yeah, need to do right. this first you need to do that yeah. second you need to do that third yeah and so that data actually got translated into a into a pathway for for that's the right. group yeah yeah mm. and that's a fantastic use of of a government resource or resources that you've people that you've got available, mm. which meant that the circle then didn't have to kind of come up with the with the ideas and then the how you were going to do it and then actually do it. It was yeah. you, it was using resources to kind of make um, the, so that the group had help with what they were going to be doing next. They yeah. didn't have to invent the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So the subgroups, for example, were a suggestion that we made. You guys could divide into subgroups. There's people with ideas and energy and enthusiasm and knowledge, and that would make work much faster. You could use the yeah. big group as more of a kind of just a get together, and most of the work is done in smaller groups. So that was all mm. what was proposed in the transition mm. plan. Mm. Mm. Mm.